Hi, so this is question 12 in this particular series of uh, questions. I'm going to deal with um, A and B on this particular video and then we'll look at C and D in the next video. So the first one is it asks us to factorise 3e squared plus 5e. So the way that we do that is we look at this and ask if there is a number which is common to both 3 and 5 other than 1. So for instance if it was 3 and 6 the common number that would divide into both would be 3. In this particular case however there isn't a number that will divide into 3 and 5 so therefore there is no common factor of those two numbers. And then the next thing we do is we look at the letters and we've got e squared which means e times e and then we've got e on its own. So the common letter that will divide into both e squared and e is e itself. So it's actually the only thing that we can take out of this factorization. When we do that then we say what have I got to do to e? What have I got to multiply e by to get 3e squared? Well that's going to be 3e what can I multiply e by to get positive 5e? Well, that's going to be positive 5. And that would answer that particular question. If you do want to get a little bit more, a few more examples of that type of factorization, then please have a look at the rest of the playlist. OK, so we're going to go on to part B. Now, where we've got brackets, we really need to multiply out the brackets and then we're solving, in other words, we're finding the value of k in this particular equation. So let's just multiply out the brackets first. I'm going to get 7k minus 21, because 7 times k is 7k, and then 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. Do be very careful about minuses in these types of questions. And that's going to be equal to 3k minus 5. Really, it's just a case then of manipulating this equation so we get k's on one side and then numbers on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I've got 3k here. I'm going to take it away. I want it on this side. So if I take 3k away from this side, that will cancel itself out. But because I've done it to one side of the equation, got to do it to the other. So if I'm minus 3k from here, I end up with 7k minus 3k is 4k. I've still got minus 21 and that's going to equal to minus 5. Okay, now I need to get rid now of the minus 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that 21 to both sides. So if I add 21, it means that cancels out. But I have to do it to both sides. I'm going to add 21 to that side. And that means I get left with 4k. And that equals minus 5 plus 21 is going to be plus 16. So we know that 4 times the value of k equals 16. Well, in order to find the value of k, what I'm going to do now is just divide through by 4. Because 4 divided by 4 means I get k on its own, and then I have to do it to both sides. So 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So k equals 4 in this particular question. I uh, hope that's been okay for you. I'm going to have a look at C and D on this uh, question paper in the next video, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.